Oh my gosh. Who in the yellow hell wants to go on holiday to Devon? It has a population of over 800,000. That is more than Blackpool and Manchester combined. Ugh. Let's just get to the list. Number 5. Expensive. Everything is expensive. You know when you have traditional shops such as chocolatiers, cheesemakers, fishmongs. You know you're in an area of luxury. There's no betting shops and food banks. These are for the peasants. However, recently conservative members have been embarrassing themselves opening food banks for some of the poor natives who are falling short on cash. England is going downhill. That's how things are in Britain these days and politicians are laughing to the bank. To buy a house, it would cost you on average £300,000. That is cheaper than Cornwall. Why is it so expensive, you might ask? I'll tell you. Because of these Londoners who go there on holiday and buy all the properties. It's not fair for the indigenous population of Devon. They should blame it on these sleazy property developers who promote their area. The house prices keep going up and up. Number four, jobs. There are no high paying jobs. People either work in retail, in hospitals, schools or work from home. Most of the jobs are low paid. Devon voted for Brexit and the area has now turned to pish. The economy is failing and they depend upon you, the tourists, to shove money up their behind. God forbid, if you decide to move there, you will be forced to pick fruits. That is not a job for the English. The English are better than that. Number three. It's not for everyone. You're really out of touch with reality if you want to live in Devon. The retired live here. You may see young people, tourists in particular, hanging around causing trouble in the summer months. You don't want to see that, do you? Summers are the best for tourists who want to worship the sun. The winters are the best for those who love peace and harmony. There's nothing special about the place apart from a few rural areas. It does not have a jaw-dropping factor to it. You'll never get a wow moment. Devon is lacking great takeaways. You will get traditional shops that rip you off and the odd looking stores selling Cornish pasties, Cornish cheese that is not very special considering the number of calories it contains. Eating Cornish splits or scone will give you a one way ticket to the hospital and you'll be diagnosed with diabetes. Uh, and then you can wash all that junk down with a traditional pressed cider, or the French call it bitter, bitter. On the other hand, the locals are into organic fruits and veg. There are a number of ancient orchards near that you don't see in the supermarket. So you can never judge a place by its inhabitants. There are treasures waiting to be discovered. Number two, far away. It's far away from the best city in the world, London. When the corona hit, the first thing people thought was toilet paper. Yes, I know the English love wiping the bum. Many wanted to escape the capital of so many people and nearly all thought of the southwest to go and hide. You are in deep trouble. This is a disaster for the locals. You don't want people flooding your town in the near future when there's a war or a virus. Now think about it before you move there. Or if you're traveling there, blimey, who the hell wants to go there anyway? Nobody cares about traditions anymore. When was the last time you did a toast to the sun god? You didn't. You don't. You don't go to church anyway if you're into that god stuff. <laughs> Young people only care about TikTok and social media and ticking off their bucket list when they go on holidays, it's weird. And do you really care about the Devonish ways of life? No, you don't. Why not travel to better places like your local park? It deserves some attention. Or Blackpool. Number one, the people. 
not diverse enough. What is the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Devon? As some may say, it is very white, whiter than white. But will it stay that way forever? I wonder. Oh, I wonder. No need to worry. As the earth warms, it is predicted in the year 2050, you can expect the great white. The whiteness will be there forever and ever. Everywhere you go, you will find upper and middle class people acting as if they own the world, boasting how posh they are, the cars they drive, the food they can afford. Come on, you live on the planet Earth. We don't need that in Britain. And how can we get rid of that poisonous feeling in society? There is a way. You need some diversity. Diversity, yeah! I like London, obviously. Imagine Devon having a grand temple where everyone gets together. That would be a fabulous idea. And Devon needs some diversity to become part of Britain again. To make Britain great again. And that's all folks. Make sure to comment, subscribe. See you next time. One last call for alcohol, so finish your whiskey or beer. Closing time.